is Cameron, but you can call me Cam. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. So today we're going to be doing just a little chit chat, get ready with me. Um, I have some products I want to try out. This is like really the first day I've been, um, honestly, the first day I've been like feeling myself. I don't know if y'all can tell I'm still a little swollen, but I did get my wisdom teeth out and um, yeah, the long story short um my wisdom teeth um i only got the bottom ones out but both of them weren't impacted um and so since they were impacted um my healing was just way longer than my top ones and i was in just like a bunch of pain um it's a week exactly a week since i got them out today and i'm still swollen on that side um so yeah that's you know that's where we're at um i still can't eat either which kind of sucks um, I'm still not able to eat hard food right now, but it's okay. We're getting through it. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to do um, a chit chat, get ready with me today, just because. Actually, hold on. Okay, yeah, I like that better. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to do a chit chat, get ready with me today. Um, for no reason particularly, um, I just want to talk today but i've been able to talk for almost a week so <laughs> uh without further ado let's just get into the video so um i'm gonna start off with my skincare and i did just get out the shower and i washed my face and everything already so what we're gonna do i'm opening my skincare fridge also got some new products we can try but first i'm going to tone my face and basically i have these new things they're kind of like replacements for the um cotton rounds and they're reusable so um you just throw them in like this little bag in the washer and you wash them and everything um so the black side gets off makeup which i don't have any makeup on so i'm just going to use the white side to apply um it says you can apply your toner and your moisturizer but i personally just like to apply my moisturizer with my face i mean with my hands so we're just going to apply the toner oh it still hurts yeah i'm definitely not doing a full face today because um it still hurts to even touch that I'm still trying to get used to these things because they're really bulky, but it's okay. Oh, they hurt so bad. Speaking of it hurting, I need to take my pain pills because. <sighs> Lord. So I ran out of the hydrocodone they gave me. So right now I'm just taking ibuprofen. I think it's like 600. It doesn't really do much, but um, I mean, it's better than, it's definitely better than just not taking anything. So what I've been doing, so I'm not taking like two of those. I'm still taking my regular Tylenol just because one just doesn't do it. Like one just isn't enough but anyway yeah so that's what i've been doing um okay so moving on from toner um i'm gonna apply my moisturizers and i'm so happy because i got some stuff from sephora and i have the sample right here the sample size of this that i got and i literally love this this is the um drunk elephant Proteiny polypeptide cream. I don't know, it's a moisturizer and I really like it. So I went and just bought the big one because girl, it was so much, but it's so worth it. Like I've been thinking about this for I don't know how long. So I just went ahead and just bought the full size. So, oh, it's so pretty and new. I think it's just a push up thing, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so we'll put this on after. Um, so first what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply my two babies. Oh, and then I did want to say, um, just because I'm mentioning teeny. So 
I did do my green tea mask, but I'm recording two videos today at the same time, so I didn't get to record that. Um, but um, I do have a code for Teeny, just so y'all know. Um, it's Cameron25, and you get 25% off everything on the site. Um, if you're not interested in skincare, like I'm really interested in the skincare, I actually am waiting on my aloe vera gel. I'm using this right now, and um, I just ordered it not that long ago, but yeah they have really good skincare products i've been using the products i want to say it's has it been a month i don't know my timing is so off but i've been using the products for a while now and they've done nothing but good things to my um, skin i use the green tea mask about two times a week oh dude i'm so sore literally my jaw is like so freaking sore um, but yeah, I use the the mask about two times a week, and then I use this vitamin C serum literally twice a day. I love it. I do have a little breakout right here, and that's just because with my face being sore, I did fall off from my skincare for about four days, and I was, um, girl, it, it was just a while. As you can see, I'm just massaging my jaw just because it hurts so bad. But yeah anyway um i've been loving this teeny stuff so i have a code for y'all if you want to try it i'll have a link in the bio as well but yeah girl i just like how it leaves my skin like it just leaves my skin really dewy and nice and um if you watch my instagram stories i always just say these two babies together just amazing this is my um, Palmer's cocoa butter formula skin therapy oil I get that from Amazon and then yeah this is my vitamin C serum as you can see I literally use it every day for the past I want to say it's been a month and look where it's at twice a day so it lasts a while but yeah so moving on let's go ahead and put on my cream if I'm not mistaken okay yeah so that just pops up which is kind of cool oh i haven't used this in a while so i'm excited that feels so good i'm gonna throw it in my skincare fridge as well just to keep everything in there just like i love it my cool cold stuff on my face have y'all ever just like not done your makeup in a really long time so you kind of like don't know what you're doing because that's actually me right now i still have like very minimal lash extensions on y'all i cried so much just from being in pain with um my wisdom teeth okay i hope my lash tech does not watch this video because you really can't why the hell are you just pulling out your lashes but i cried so much um with my wisdom teeth that i literally freaking cried my lashes off and i know they're waterproof but like when you're constantly like i'm not lying when i say i was crying for days because i was in pain and the pain medication wasn't enough for me so yeah i don't have my lashes anymore but it's okay i'm gonna get them done soon and what did i want to talk about today i kind of wanted to talk about just what's going on right now um you know everything with uh, the social climate and Trump and again what's going on right now so first off you know mainly honestly what I want to talk about is like social media um I've been getting so irritated with the way some of these companies are handling the black lives matter movement because honey this is nothing new we have been fighting for our rights for a extremely long time okay extremely long longer than we really should be and i think it's so freaking bizarre I think it's so bizarre that some of these companies are just now starting to step up and they're just now starting to be like oh well we'll show we'll show more black people or oh we stand with you but it's like but so you weren't standing with us like two months ago before all this happened i just don't really get it per se um i think it's kind of like 
I don't know. It's like you shouldn't. It shouldn't take a freaking civil rights movement for you guys to realize that black people are people too, or for you to realize that you should hire. Okay, there we go. Or that you should hire more black people. Like I just. A lot of these companies are really showing how they really feel and you know they're in it for the moment and like girl you knew black people existed don't act like oh my god you know oh my god like we just came out the blue and now all of a sudden we want rights like no honey we've been fighting for our rights since for years We've been fighting for our rights for years and we've been fighting to be treated equal and to have equal representation in the media and all this stuff for years. And now you wanna step up? Now you wanna start melanating your pages? And I don't know y'all, like I just, I get very weird about this stuff cause I feel like you shouldn't applaud a dog for barking. You know what I mean? Like you should have been doing this stuff, but to each its own. Some people will say, you know, it's better now that they're doing it, but I just personally feel like all this should have been done. We shouldn't have to literally be in the middle of a freaking civil rights movement to be treated equally, but that's just me. And I've also been noticing there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of like celebrities, for example, like the guy who plays, I want to say, is it Cleveland? I don't know. I, I don't watch Family Guy, but there's some black guy on there or black character, I should say, who's voiced by a white male. And he like stepped down from his thing. Um, same thing happened with the show Big Mouth. The girl like stepped down and I'm just like, first of all. What kind of pisses me off about that is that by doing that, you're kind of saying that Black people have a certain voice, if that makes sense. You're kind of saying that Black people have a certain voice and that you were mimicking our voice, right? Like, is that is that what I'm getting from that? Or, you know, I seen this one post where the girl's like, the girl from the Big Mouth show, she's like, you know, I'd rather have a, you know, a black person voicing. So you weren't thinking that before you took the role? Like what? I, I just don't know. I just feel like all this is just kind of, it's kind of lame, honestly. Like, girl, you shouldn't have took that role anyway. If it's a black character, why would you take it? You took it because you wanted to. Now you're only backing out because you're seeing everything that's going on right now and you think that's the right thing to do. But honestly, as a black person, girl, we don't care. Honey, I don't care if you're voicing a black character because people tell me I talk white. Like, <laughs> what? People literally have told me to my face that it's not just a one time thing. I've heard that. I've heard this my whole, well, almost my whole life. Like, now people are kind of. You know, they realize black people don't have a certain voice and just because I talk proper, proper doesn't mean white, honey. Black people can talk proper just the same way that white people can be quote unquote ghetto, like, you know? And so, like I said, I've heard that my whole life. Like, oh, you talk so white, you talk so white. So it just, it blows my mind that now all of a sudden like these white people who voice black characters are gonna step down and I'm like, here go my dog outside barking but it just it's crazy to me it's it, honestly it's crazy to me it's like you should have you should have thought about giving your spot to a black person before all this you know what i mean you took that spot and now we're gonna change actors voices like i'm telling you we don't care like i honestly just want freaking I just want justice. I just want the police to be reformed. Like, I don't care about any of this. Maybe it's just me and it could honestly be just me. Every black person feels differently. Um, I know there's some black people who are like, good, you know, more black voices, which I totally stand for. Like, I totally agree. We should definitely have more black voice actors on the market. Um, 
the Avengers when you know there's live action movies and they whitewash them you know like put people of color in movies you know like I'm pretty sure is it Mulan I might be wrong but I was wrong not Mulan but there are plenty examples of movies that are whitewashed when they definitely could have used people of color or black people you know so yeah I just muted this out because I went on a tangent and I was wrong <laughs> But, yeah, I just feel like the whole thing is kind of lame. Like, I, we're not asking for too much. I don't think we're asking for too much. I think everything we're asking for is completely validated. But they're, like, trying to distract us and, oh, we're going to have you step down. And, oh, um, you know, you should step down because um, we should have like a black person voicing this white character. Like, honey, we don't care. I'm sorry. It's it's literally bigger. We can get to that, of course. We'll get to that, but there's bigger issues. <laughs> bigger issues right now. And then who's voicing a black character? I'm sorry. It is. And I feel like people are just choosing to purposely like ignore it which is annoying but again it is what it is because we live in america and that's what people do i just again the whole thing just kind of puts a bad taste in my mouth and i don't really like it i just feel like honey you shouldn't have took that job in any boo-boo if you really want to get you know if you really want to be helpful you shouldn't have took that job anyway you stepping down now it's just kind of a lame excuse that's kind of where i'm at with all this yo am i out of freaking toffee oh, that sucks that sucks damn i kind of i need to go get this so I have the e.l.f. Um, hydrating Camel Concealer, but I low-key want to get it in the just regular Camel Concealer because I feel like it does just move around a little bit too much for me. Or maybe I can use my Instant Rewind, but that one's too light. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> one, <laughs> one second. Oh, here we go. Okay, so yeah, I'll use this. I'll use my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in Caramel. Yeah, I'll use it too. I don't know. I've been having like very open conversations with people about all this stuff. Like, how do y'all feel about everything that's going on? Like, do you care? Do you care about people stepping down for, you know, voice roles? Like, honestly, or do you agree like we have bigger issues right now than who voices a black actor and I, again like i do appreciate it but i just feel like that should have been a given kind of going back to what i was saying about like these social media stores like why are you just now putting more black people on your page like we didn't freaking exist like i just i don't get it like there's so many brands that i have canceled just on my own just with everything that's been going on. Um, I think I've mentioned this in a few videos why I no longer shop at um, Fashion Nova. <sighs> um, I'm about to stop shopping at Pretty Little Things after what happened with them. And it's just, again, all of this is just a lame excuse to try and be with the times and all that shit. But it's like, are you really down when it counts though? Cause honey that's what i want to know if you're are, are you down when it counts though that's why i want to know because a lot of them ain't a lot of them are not a lot of them are just doing this because it is popular and it seems it's the right thing to do right now but they they ain't really down they ain't really down you can tell me So I do have a couple um, video ideas. 
by the way. Just to more so show my support in what I'm doing. Um, I do want to, and I'm planning on, I just have to, you know, save my money basically, but um, I do want to do um, a video just only on black businesses that you can shop from. And I'm planning on doing it kind of like a whole thing, like doing um, makeup, fashion, shoe store. I'm still doing my research on which brands I want to include. Um, it's kind of sad. I do have to do research on what is, what companies are black owned and which ones aren't. So I'm just gonna go over this one more time underneath the eyes, just so right there. Um, but yeah, I'm just kind of, again, just doing my research and I will get to that for sure though. And um, yeah, I'm planning on, planning on it being kind of like a whole, um, not hair, just cause I'm either probably gonna have like a wig on that I already have or do my own hair thing um or to do my own hair use my own hair um but yeah girl that's what i'm planning on doing i feel like y'all should do it too just you know you don't make a video just show support to the black community um i'm gonna do pretty sure like a whole haul and then also another video just on like um like what I would wear like on a regular day yeah I wrote my nail y'all so let's just ignore that I just put on some lip scrub because again just me and my wisdom teeth girl <laughs> yeah my wisdom teeth literally made my lips dry like Girl, I don't know what was going on. Like, I have no idea what was going on. I was, I was struggling, honestly. I was struggling. Okay, so I'm gonna set my face. I'm gonna use my e.l.f. Um, makeup mist and set. I like to set my face a few times throughout this whole process and then just pat it in. Okay, so now that that's on, I'm going to use my Caramel Cutie by Fenty Beauty. Take a little bit on my brush and just bronze up my face, especially on this side because, like I said, I am still swollen just to... I guess we can, we can actually remove you. Move it a little bit by my lips too. What was I doing? Oh, girl, I got distracted, started doing my freaking wig. Okay, so I think, do I want to try some lashes? So I have these lashes from AliExpress. They took like a month and a half to get here, girl, but that's what you get when you order from AliExpress. But it came with twenty pairs of lashes. So I mean it was worth it. It was worth the wait. So which ones? And I believe these are just two styles. Yeah, so there's ten. 10 of one style and then 10 of the other and I think I want to I think I want to put on these so I'm just applying my lash glue really quick yeah I feel like this is I'm the worst at doing like get ready with me like chit chat get ready with me videos because I don't ever have a script girl I just be talking about whatever comes to my head like I had a little something going when I was talking about, you know, the social media stuff and then now I'm just like, okay, let's just um finish up because 
if I really get to talking, I'm going to take forever in a day. And I really don't got time for that today because I actually have stuff I need to do and post. Um, I got a new um, tripod just for my iPhone. There's no ring light or anything, but I got it because um, I think... I want to start just taking my own pictures just so I can up my um, my game a little bit. So we're going to start doing that. That's actually how I'm going to take my pictures today. So if you keep the hair in the outfit and you watch this video, then you already know what I'm on. Uh, so yeah, we're just going to curl my lashes. But yeah, I have to take some TikToks for... Um, a company today i do have to do two different companies but i'm just doing one today and then i also need to go ahead and um take some more instagram photos y'all i've really been like trying to pay attention to my food and stuff and i can tell it's definitely been paying off like a lot of brands have been reaching out to me and i just i would love to see it oh here it is but yeah we love to see that so yeah, a lot of brands have been um, just wanting to do collabs or, you know, wanting me to feature their their products. And I'm like, of course, you know, and it's really nice to finally be kind of noticed because, I, I mean, I haven't been going as hard as I can be. I'm not going to lie. That's just with me having a job and everything. But um, I do want to get... Sorry, I can't talk in. I can't talk into my bottom lashes. Okay, um, but yeah, like I said, I do want to get just more serious with my social media and doing what, um, doing what I want to do, basically. And um, to start, I'm going to work on my Instagram. Instagram is like the one. It kind of sucks, but. Instagram is literally the one social media where I'm kind of lacking in. Um, all my other ones are fine. My Twitter's fine. My TikTok's fine. But Instagram, it's so hard to gain on there. And I just noticed that if I just post consistently and stay on my schedule, I should be good. Y'all, so I'm wearing these colored contacts just to kind of like play around. Can you guys even tell? They're like a, they're supposed to be like green, I think. I don't even know. Yeah, so we're going to go ahead and my face uno vez mas. Avoiding my eye, obviously, because the glue is still wet. And then I'm just going to go ahead and apply my highlight. And I'm using the Fenty. Uh, what is this? Mo, Mo Honey and Afternoon Snack, and I literally just mix both of them. And then for lip gloss, again, this Fenty because I just love Fenty, honestly. Okay, guys, so that was my quick little get ready with me to check it ready with me video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, be sure to give me a big old thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you guys will get notified when I upload. Also, really quick, I just wanted to plug Teeny again just because I love them so much. Again, the Teeny um, detox mask that I kind of mentioned, also the serum that I literally got it backwards here that I'm literally obsessed with. Like I said, you get a little discount if you use my code Cameron25. Be sure to use that. Try them out. Let me know. Um, I've had, I want to say, I don't know a number. I've had, a, <laughs> I don't know a number. I've had a handful of people already try it and they really do like the products. So um, like I said, just give it a shot. Um, you know, DM me, let me know how you guys are liking the products. Um, but yeah, other than that, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,